mesmerized. How Ben Franklin solved the mystery that baffled all of France. Written by Mara Rockcliffe and illustrated by Jacopo Bruno. Back during the Revolutionary War, Ben was trying to get uh, France to send money, to send supplies, to send soldiers uh, to help with the American Revolution. But what happened was France needed Ben almost as much as he needed France. What was happening over in France says the day Ben Franklin first set foot in Paris when they asked him to come over, he found that the city was all abuzz. Everyone was talking about something new, something remarkable, something thrilling, strange, something called science. Parisians giggled at a gas that nobody could see till it went up in flames. Voila! They gasped at a balloon that floated high above the rooftops, carrying a duck, a rooster, and a very nervous sheep. Ooh la la! And they were absolutely gaga over the American in the peculiar fur hat, because everyone had heard about Ben Franklin's famous kite experiment, which showed that lightning was the same as electricity. So they had asked him to come to Paris because Paris was all abuzz about somebody new. Someone remarkable, someone thrilling, someone definitely strange, someone called Dr. Mesmer. Dr. Mesmer was as different from Ben Franklin as a fancy, fancy layered tort was from a homemade apple pie. Where Ben was plain and sample, Dr. Mesmer was elegant and mysterious, and he wore a powdered wig and a fine coat of purple silk, and he carried an iron wand, and he claimed that he had discovered an astonishing new force. Like a gas, this force could not be seen or touched. Like electricity, it held great power. Like the hot air balloon, it made what seemed impossible come true. Dr. Mesmer said that this force streamed from the stars and flowed into his wand. And when he stared into his patient's eyes and waved that wand, things happened. Women swooned. Men sobbed. Children fell down in fits. So, through the story, what happens is Ben starts to try to observe what's happening when Dr. Mesmer is talking to these people. But as he's presenting to groups, he does have these people focused and, and mesmerized, and that's where the word mesmerized actually comes from. They believed everything that he would tell them, but what Ben did was then start to apply the scientific method. So he hypothesized what the patients felt and what was, you know, what was caused by their own minds, not by an invisible force. And he tried to prove that Dr. Mesmer was a fraud, and so he blindfolded, using a blindfold, and if you um, check and do your research and talk about the blindfold test, he used a blindfold, which threw the results of the tests uh, for, Mr. for Dr. Mesmer off. And what he did was he tested his hypothesis with that blindfold, and then with the scientific method, the test results supported Ben's hypothesis that the so-called force that Dr. Mesmer was talking about did not exist, he did not have a special magical force in his wand or in his hands. And so he disproved Dr. Mesmer. And then Ben went back to the king and told him what he had seen. And then soon all of Paris was abuzz again. And Dr. Mesmer took his wand and fled. So you can find out a little bit more and a lot of the details about the book by reading Mesmer by Mario Rockwell.